Hey guys, welcome to part one of Still Rising. We are going to figure out what this game is all about and I'm super, super excited about it because I love the design already. Like the, the marionette sort of design, I really, really like. I like the, the period that it's set in, so I'm very, very, very interested in checking out this game. So without further ado, Still Rising, part one. Let's do this. I'm going to stream it as well. So I'm very excited about this game. I've been wanting to check it out for a bit. Whew. I'm very excited because it looks really, really cool. It piqued my interest and I'm quite excited to check it out. Okay. I mean, look at it. Like it takes place in, it says Paris. And it looks pretty freaking cool. So I'm very, very excited about checking it out. All right. Let's do it. I just like the design of it all. I'm playing it on the PlayStation 5. If anybody's interested, uh, visibility, we're gonna keep it the same. Options. Game controls. Okay, we got light attack, heavy attack, special move, jump, sprint, of course it's L3, like it always is. Um Dodge. shall we? Okay. Designed to be a demanding game of standard mode, assist mode, most players to experience the game while tailoring the challenges to their own purpose and abilities. Please know, however, this some mode difficulty really trippies will not be law unlockable. You will have to start a new game. Cool. What does this do? Oh, you can do damage reduction. <laughs> I'm invincible! That'd be kind of silly. Keep anima essence after death. Endurance regeneration speed. Wow. Easy cooling. That's not what I expect. Wait, what's that do? Okay, all rapid. Cooldowns become perfect. Increases speed. Reduces percentage of... No, that doesn't really... I will disable it, because I'm just like, nah. I'll play a game if you can't take damage, you know? It's just like, that's... Nah. We're gonna disable it. I'm gonna start a new game. Okay. I'm excited about checking this out. I think I'm in no mood for games right now. Marie Antoinette. How much longer are we to be kept here? Or we just simply watch as Paris burns from afar? The rabble are rioting. This is the price to be paid for spoiling the masses. You don't understand, Gabrielle. The king sent us here long before the city went up in flames. He knew what was about to transpire. I think he is somehow involved in these events. Oh, come now, Marie. True, he can be misguided and somewhat short-tempered at times, but he's no Nero. Then why have we been given no news for so long? 
they saw for Gabrielle. The children. They'll good morning, zombie. Way. I am most certain of it. Monsieur Clary will take good care of them. For now, at least, we are safe. Safe? Vraiment? Where are the Chateau Guards? We are still protected. The king just preferred to How are you doing? A different sort of guard. Guards? Or jailers? They won't even let us leave this room, Gabrielle. The king? He has lost his mind to grief. First our darling, Sophie. Then our beloved son. My poor sweet angel. They didn't let me say goodbye. I wasn't even allowed to see him. Seraphim, something inside me is, is crying out, telling me he's still of this world at times. I think I hear him calling to me. I'm so afraid. What do you fear, my queen? Everything. Everything horrifies me. The king's wrath. His army of indefatigable automats that Monsieur de Vaucanson has built for him. The charlatans who advise him, who are now more powerful than ministers. What happened to my son? What will happen to the children that God has deigned to leave in my care? I won't let any harm come to them. This, I promise you. Actually making a snack before bed that I was seeing things. Oh. <laughs> but how? Do you not no, see I slept for a long here? time. I went to Always I was gonna stream earlier today but I was really tired and I didn't think I could stay awake so I actually laid down and I ended up going to sleep for like six hours. Ooh, material. Ooh, I love I love 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 the design of this game. I love 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 the outfit and love the concept of it. This is awesome. Ooh. So it's like a, ooh, I like that pattern. I don't like the, nah, I don't like that black one. What about gold? Nah. And that one's just that. Uh. No. Then you got the plain one. No, I like the marble. I like that color. Impromptu sleep can be so good. Yes, it was really good. Oh, and I got up really early to do that appointment. I was up at like 5.30 in the morning, 5.30, a.m. And then that appointment was tough. And I think that kind of tired me out. And then even though I had that done, I had to get some stuff ready because today or later today, there's a lease renewal. Well, not a lease renewal inspection, but like an inspection at my apartment. I don't know when they're going to show up. Hey, Amara. Yeah, I don't know when they're going to show up. They're going to take all day. So I'm probably just going to watch Supernatural all day and wait for them to show up. I like... Yeah, I like this one the best. Yeah, that looks really cool. How's it going, Amara? The wig. Ah. That looks cool, but no. That's a braid. Yeah, that looks a little silly. Well, we got that one, which looks like a, a bun. But this one looks more like me. Having a ponytail braid that comes down. So it's either this with braids down the side or it's this one with a braid ponytail down the center. It's going where it gets about an hour and 38 minutes. 
Yes! An hour and 38 minutes. Woo! Not too long to go. Yeah, it'll wipe you out. It will wipe you out. I just gotta rest. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Because that looks cool. It looks like a bow, and then you got the braids on the side, so that looks cool. Okay. Face. Ooh. I like that one. So you got that option, that option, that option, different. That's really pretty. So you have that option, that option. I want to do the powdered face. Yeah, I want to go with that option. Okay, character class. Ooh, you get to pick a character class? Hi, Jet. How's it going? Victorian cyberpunk? Yeah, like, this is really excited. Like, exciting. Um, Marie Antoinette is a character in this game, and I think that's freaking awesome. Like, I already love the style, and I love the fact that it takes place, you know, around Marie Antoinette. So it's, like, totally right up my alley. I've been wanting to play this game, and it was free on PlayStation Plus for a monthly game. I was so excited. I didn't know you could pick your class. Spent 11 hours working on Twitch stuff. I'm tired. I don't blame you. That's a lot of stuff to do. Hype. Let's see. Bodyguard. Okay. Heavy weapon. Special move. Block. Projectile that can remove us. An ability. Durability. Engineering. Or you could pick soldier, which is also a heavy weapon. Oh, okay. So you have. That's like a hammer. This one you get like a halberd. Ranged attack, heavy weapon, explosive grenade power, dancer, ooh, light weapon, special move block, explosive projectile that can ignite an enemy, agility and vigor, alchemist, you get batons, weapon is infused with frost. Good morning, Remy, good morning. How are you? Um, okay, so we can choose batons for an alchemist, light weapon, mm, favorite alchemist, they can night freeze or execute their enemies. I like dancer. Dancers are highly resilient, can chain attacks together quickly in succession. Agility, I like that. Your body's jacked. I don't know what in the world. Yeah, my, my bot is. <laughs> Ignore Fossabot. I need to deactivate Fossabot. Fossabot is drunk like 97% of the time and doesn't know what Fossabot is doing. I think Fossabot only works like 2% of the time, so please ignore like Fossabot. I need to deactivate Fossabot. It used to be a wonderful bot that I had set up, but I don't know what happened. I've never been able to fix it. And it's just been like the crazy drunk robot that shows up from time to time and gives random shout outs that make no sense. So it's kind of funny at this point. <laughs> it tries. I give it an A for effort. Um, bodyguard. So I don't really like big melee weapons because they're slow. And then this one is a an halberd. And I'm not a... I don't know which one I want to go with. I don't really want to do alchemy. That's not right up my alley. Dancer looks really, really cool. But it's a light weapon. I mean, uh, I'm s I don't want to do bodyguard. Bodyguard out, so it's between soldier and dancer. Thank you for still the shouties act. I want to go ahead and give everybody a, like a proper shout out. Well, Twitch won't let me give a shout out, but um, I'm just going to individually shout you guys out because it's not going to let me do like a shout out each like second. So um, let's see. We'll start off with like zombie. So 
everybody should check out Zombie as well because Zombie plays a lot of, he does like a lot of community days, he plays a lot of um, Phasmophobia with his friend um, Geeked. They, he plays like Beast Inside and a lot of different games, a lot of variety, a lot of horror too. Um, so he, he's really cool, good vibes over there. Um, he has a really cool VTuber um, animation on his stream too, so please check him out check him out he's awesome a lot of horror games though like i need still need to play the beast inside because he said that that scared that was very scary so i'm looking forward to checking out um that game because of him but he plays all kinds of games a lot of variety over there so yes definitely check out zombie and then amara plays a lot of variety and horror as well amara is super sweet and kind um and so a zombie as well. Zombie is a really, really cool dude and very chill and very knowledgeable about games. And it's really cool to hear his commentary on a lot of different games. And then Amara, super supportive and really sweet. Um, she has a lot of pups. She has bat, cat, tank, um, and animals and plays a lot of horror and variety. So definitely a lot of variety. Very amazing streamer as well. Both Zombie and Amara are amazing individuals please check them out and jet is working on building his channel and working toward affiliate if he hasn't reached affiliate yet um met him through lithaniel gamers and looking forward to knowing more about him but he's a cool dude very chill over on his streams and look forward to seeing more out of him and getting to know him a bit more but so far very very chill and working really hard on his stream and building up his channel and very very nice and awesome dude so check him out and Remy, Remy is incredible as well. Remy is a speedrunner for Resident Evil. Very, very talented. Extremely badass at being super quick at beating Resident Evil. Um, she also plays a lot of retro games, and it's really cool to watch her visit all the retro games. And she is amazing. So, yes, definitely, definitely, definitely check her out. Remy is incredible. Um, she was playing... Where were you playing last, Remy? Because I know that you've been going between different games. Um, Resident Evil 2 Remake has been speedrun. Um, goodness. I know you've been playing... You played Mega Man. Oh, you're playing Final Fantasy... Oh, you're playing Final Fantasy 9. Last time I caught your stream and that was really cool to see Final Fantasy 9 it was like nostalgia so Final Fantasy 9 Resident Evil 2 remake Mega Man a lot of really uh, really cool retro games to see and a lot of it was cool seeing you play Final Fantasy also she does dance streams that was really cool so a lot of different stuff she plays all kinds of games but it's really fun to watch her play horror so definitely check out these people guys because definitely some really cool people in this channel right now in this stream so check them all out resident evil 8 i got the you got the run under three hours heck yeah man i love resident evil village that's awesome which one's your favorite i mean i think resident evil village is my favorite i need to catch the next stream because i absolutely love that freaking game yes check out each other you guys are amazing people Oh, you got it yesterday? Yes! So congratulations, Jet. You got affiliate. Heck yeah. Yes. That is amazing. Thank you for the shout. I actually haven't slept yet. Insomnia got me today. <laughs> Insomnia? Oh no. You're very welcome for the shouties. Oh, I hope you get some sleep, Remy. Insomnia sucks. Your aerial videos on YouTube are great. Oh, you're... Oh, thank you, Remy. I like aerial dance. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do. It's definitely a really good workout, so absolutely. So I thank you so much. I enjoy aerial. It's one of those things I got into early in college, and you know, you find one skill set that you're good at in aerial, and the other one, like I'm better at trapeze and like the hoop than I am at silk, but it's a definitely a really good workout and it's a lot of fun. So yeah, I enjoy it. I enjoy it very much. Um, let's see. 
That is a big deal. Congratulations, Jet. That's amazing. Looks so pretty. Well, thank you. Yeah, the one I have up on YouTube, the my most recent one I put up there, that's just me like practicing different things because they allowed us in the studio throughout the day, you know, between classes to like, you know, it was like my outlet, like after a test or something, I'd go up to the studio and just kind of play around on the silk or the trapeze. So a lot of the stuff on there is playing around and having fun and getting a workout in. And then there's one that's more close up and that one is mainly I learned a drop and with drops you have to be very careful like it it's an upper body workout but it's also you have to remember like where the silk and everything has to go because it has to be properly wrapped around correctly because if it's not you're gonna fall and hit the ground and it hurts <laughs> I've fallen out of the, the silk before and hit the ground um, Luckily, not very high up, but you have to be very careful in how you wrap things around because there's nothing to catch you. So in that closer up video, I had recently learned a new drop and I had to remember how to, um, like which way to wrap the silk because if I didn't, I'd fall. Um, so I think a lot of that was, you know, performing, but also it was me running through my mind. <laughs> you could see me super focused and thinking, because I was thinking, okay, I need to wrap it around this way and then be comfortable with letting go. And then just being able to trust that the silk is going to hold me. Yeah. I shot an aerial and pole comp and it's scary. Oh yeah. <laughs> like it's, um... You have to be very careful and I think that one was called it's called the teddy bear drop and it was mainly like remembering how many times to wrap the silk around my leg that way when I get up to that position and it's behind me I can let go and then fall and trust that it's gonna catch me and yeah so a lot of it like you can see me really thinking hard <laughs> and focused like I was trying to perform at the same time but I was also trying to be like okay there we go. Okay, I can let go now. <laughs> it was cool. They taught me a lot of stuff that summer. A lot of different drops. But yeah, it's all about trusting the fabric to catch you and then also doing it correctly. Because <laughs> it makes me nervous. Like, it makes my palms sweat to think about it. Because I watched, um, I got to see a Cirque du Soleil show one, one year. And their trapeze, um, their trapeze, uh, I'm trying to think of the word equipment I'll just use equipment is like very very high up and they have nothing to catch them and it always made my palms sweat watching them from there. it's making my palms sweat now I'm um, thinking about it but watching them fly from trapeze to trapeze and completely let go and like nothing to catch them and nothing to grab onto until that person like comes over like swings over and then they grab that person by the hands like oh my god they're wild. Yeah, it makes my palms sweat just thinking about it, just letting go and then trusting that that person's going to time that right and going to catch you. Yeah, Whew, it's giving me chills. But I remember watching that going, Oy. it always made me nervous. I'm delaying this because I can't decide which one I want to go with. Do I want to go with a sword or do I want to go with a metal fan? That did, Well, I mean, this is a, it's a ranged attack. Special move. So you get a ranged attack and a heavy weapon. 64 damage. This one's 52 damage. I mean, you get a shield. Your special move is a shield. And it's not that much. Okay, vigor, critical damage. I mean, mobilize enemies and inflict critical hits. You think I should go with the sword? The strength they have is very impressive. Lots of years of practice. Yeah, lots of years of practice. It's incredible. You think I should go? Okay, I'm going to let you guys vote. What do you guys think? You guys think I should go with a sword or a fan? Because I can't decide. Remy says sword, I think. I think she means sword. I mean, the halberd has a good mood. Okay, so zombie says fan. I vote sword, yeah. 
Okay, so it's a tie. We need a third vote. A tiebreaker vote. Sword or fan? Fan? Okay, so you say fan. Okay. Alright. Fan. It looks like fan it is. <laughs> What's... <laughs> You're like, yay! So it looks like it's gonna be a fan since two people said fan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna do fan then. All right. We will see how this pans out. This machine that is now somehow. Oh, I got a gear in my back. And understand what's better you into that. Yes, but it is loyal to you. That's all that matters. Mm -hmm. I'm a robot. If it managed it looks to really escape cool. the chateau, <laughs> JK, JK. could be your <laughs> eyes and ears in Paris. And if, perchance, the other automats were to go after it? You won't attempt anything foolish. I cannot lose you, Gabriel. Not now. Dun dun dun. Aegis? Madame. Uh, the king must be stopped. The very kingdom is at stake. Go and find Vokotso at his workshop. Niles Arvalide. He surely holds the secret to these tireless automats. And perhaps he will know something about the death of my son. How am I to leave the chateau grounds, madame? Go to the riverbank, at the far side of the grounds. From there you can take a boat to Paris. You wanted to find Vaucanso? Vraiment? What if he is the one who is responsible for this unrest? What Vaucanso has done, ma chère, only Vaucanso can undo. I'm off on a mission. I got my first mission. Hey! Okay. Oh ho ho! Yeah! I'm fast! I gotta recharge! Ho ho ho! It'd help if I locked on right. <laughs> there we go. I forgot to lock on my enemy. I got a quick access belt. My handy dandy belt. Okay. I got a flame grenade. Ooh. It's fancy. What's this? I can grip ledges. Look. Well, aren't I agile? Hey, Kiwi. Hi. Play Magic the Gathering? Sweet. It's going well. I slept for a very long time because I had gone to the doctor yesterday to get something done. A procedure done. And now I am... I slept because it knocked me out. But now I'm good. Oh. I was supposed to give him finish. But no, I'm good. Like I slept for like six hours, so now I'm like awake. And just chilling. Did you get to check out any games I recommended to you yet? They are on my list, Kiwi. I did check a look at a few of them. And I'm making a long list. I'm gonna try to get around to them. But they are on my list. I had to do a few play tests for some developers. So that's kind of Taking up some time. But yes, I'm working on going through the games people have recommended. Oh, that's cool. Ow. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I'm broken. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna do this better this time. 
Oh, I'm learning as I go. Okay. Overheated and rapid cooling. All right. There's like a crap. How do y'all block? Okay, there we go. That's how I block. Oh, I can't block once I'm. Ah. Ow. Okay, so I can dodge. But I can't block if I'm overheated. Okay. So I gotta be careful of cooling down. Not sure if I ran into this game, but Chance of Sinar. It's quite a decent puzzle game. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, keep recommending games. I mean, I'll put them on my list. Absolutely. I'd like to get around to some games. I've been trying to get through some horror games and then also just. Uh, I need a dodge. Okay, I'm gonna need to time that better. This isn't gonna be like a Souls game, is it? <laughs> Alright, there we go. There, that. Cool down the challenge. What is this game we're playing? Is it like. No That's what I'm wondering. I don't know if it's like a Souls game, because Life of P. Life of P or like, oh my god, thinking about the movie, um, Liza P kicked my ass. I tend to avoid Souls games because they're difficult. I like to focus on story, not really difficulty of games, so I'm not one that would play normally really difficult or intentionally difficult games. So I tend to avoid Souls games for that reason. Yeah, the difficulty, yeah, I tend to not... This should... Gosh. See, I'm wondering if it's like a Souls game. Because it has me start all the way over. This might be like a Souls game. Because I'm almost dead. <laughs> It would suck if it was like a Souls game though. I hope not. Okay, we're gonna run from them. Your behind at you is normal, yeah. See, I'm wondering if this is like a Souls game because I'm about to die. <laughs> If that's the case, there's some settings that you can do, which I might do. Yeah, see, I'm already dead. And if it has me start all over, then this is definitely um, a Souls game. Yep. So you can do this. You can do assist mode. Assist mode is damage reduction. Although sewer than designed to be a demanding game in standard mode, assist mode allows players to experience games that tailoring the challenge to suit their own preferences and abilities. Please note, however, that by activating spend some difficulty related trophies will not be unlockable. You'll have to start a game if you wish to obtain them. So you can fix it. Yeah, this is a Souls kind of game. The death screen proves it. Yeah. So this is what we're going to do. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. Okay, we'll do damage reduction by 50 and see what that does. Easy cooling. I'm not gonna play it like a Souls game because then we'll never experience the story. What does easy cooling do? We'll do easy cooling. Yeah, Cold of the Lamb is really good. I mainly wanna play for story, so we're gonna see if this fixes anything. We'll see what this does. I'm not gonna do There we go. Like, I'm not gonna make it where I don't take damage, but let's make it playable, please. <laughs> I'm playing for story. 
I don't intentionally make a game difficult. The cooldown was making it really challenging to where it's like, okay, you can't block unless. I don't c care that I'm taking damage. I might decrease the levels I have it at if it's too easy, though. I want to balance it out like a regular game. <laughs> See, that seems pretty balanced, because I am taking damage, but I can block. Okay. Ah! Yeah, this is fair. Alright. There we go. Counter. If you find any other good games, I'll probably add to your already- Okay, yes, please add my list. Come on. There we go. Trying to learn the counter. <laughs> Whoops, that was not gonna do- Lock on. Let's see if the lock on. Hold on to unlock. Okay. Maybe we made it to the next area without getting my ass kicked. Uh, activating Vestals. Okay. What is this? Like an upgrade? It is like a Souls game, but with better science cover difficulty. I just can't remember how to set it. Oh, it's the assist mode then. I do not have enough essence. I can't upgrade anything. Right. Lock on. Lock on is going to be my friend. I need to remember to lock on. I get better at this. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I can't open those. So she has two fans. Okay, interesting. Ah! Block. Need to water the sage. <laughs> with caffeine. I got my other cup here that's really good, filled with amazing liquid. I'm also hydrating on coffee. Oh, shit. Oh, ow. Ow. Let me get you first. Oh. God. This is tough trying to get them both at the same time. does appear to be aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, it's just, it's really cool. Um, I like the ability that you gotta block. I'm still 
trying to get into the flow of how to fight better. <laughs> But it does appear to be challenging because it is a Souls game now that I'm learning and I'm like mm. I'm trying not to let it be a soul like a Souls game to the point where it um, I want to still have fun with the game because it's so beautiful it is a beautiful game and I really like the idea behind it. And I like the idea behind Lies of P. But Lies of P was getting so difficult to where I wasn't having fun with it. And I was just like, no, I wanna I wanna enjoy the games I play. Gosh, I'm already dead again. Okay. I'm going to make it where I'm going to have fun with this. And yeah, this is not how you play a Souls game, but this is how I'm going to play a Souls game. <laughs> there we go. Otherwise, I'll just keep dying and dying and dying in different ways. So for those that have played Souls games, does it really make you start back at the very beginning if you die? Does it really do that? Like, it, you, if, you, if you're like maybe halfway through the game, do you have to start all over when you die? Because I'm wondering that, because I was thinking that after Lies of P, after a sadly attempting Lies of P. Because I've never played Dark Souls. happens to know because if it starts you completely over that would be insane oh my god more of you well hey I'm earning points I'm feeling pretty sorry if I'm quiet I'm slow blinking oh it's okay thank you for being here I mean I hope you're able to get some sleep I'm just over here getting my ass kicked. <laughs> but we're gonna be okay with it. Because we're gonna make it. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna focus on one at a time. Mobilization, cool. I really want to like this game. I really want to like it. I hope you get some sleep. I mean, even though, like, Lies of P wasn't my type of game, like, I love the idea of it. It's just not my kind of game. He is, yes, he is sleeping behind me. He's doing a snooze. Okay, where, is there a map? Do we have a map? I don't have a hat yet. The Queen's drawing room. Okay, there we go. Map of Paris. Okay, so we're in St. Cloud. 
reach the banks of sight. Does it give us a direction to go? You'll wait on the- Yeah, he's sleeping. You were sleeping with me earlier. I slept for six hours. Um... I mean, I'm gonna keep regenerating. See, this is the way we went. The gardens, yep. Yeah. I want to see if I can update or upgrade. No. I am... no. Dang it. Okay. Oh, but that heals me though. So now we know that part. Collect all your essence. Okay, we got 706. Oh, didn't know you were there. There we go. It's a rhythm. The Alfie emotes. I know I'm going around in circles. I'm trying to figure out where the hell I gotta go. <laughs> Almost got points enough for an upgrade. Okay, this has me going in a circle. Yep. So, if we go down this way and not go that way, it's a maze. Okay. Ah, you're right here. I'd like to be able to get an upgrade. What's this? There we go. So now we can make an upgrade. Oh, there's stairs. Ingot. Okay, we're going to definitely improve power. Durability. There we go. Oh. Hi. Lock on, dang it. I wish we get to lock on. No. God. Okay, they're all attacking me now. Oh my god, they keep chasing me down. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming for you, dude. Is that a quick block? Okay, our L1 does nothing.
figuring it out. Oh, I'm hitting the cooldown. What is this? I've got an upgrade. Oh no, somebody's dead. They dead. What is this? Oh, I'll take your life force. Thank you. The Swiss Guard, killed by the automats that replaced them. Oh shit. Command was given to your company with an attachment of automats. I therefore urge you until further notice to keep your distance from these machines to inform me of any signs of hostility. Do not engage unless your majesty queen is in danger. The reinforcements are en route. Ah. Oh snap. We got ourselves a boss fight, guys. I'm gonna lock onto your ass before I try to attack. There we go. Oh fuck! Yeah, this is gonna be a souls fight. Okay. If this is gonna be too difficult, then I am going to turn down the difficulty. Yep, because I'm gonna get my ass handed. Yep. Shit. Yep. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. We are not here to make this painful. We are not here to make it incredibly difficult, so I don't care. Stop. Ow. Fuck. Okay. This is definitely a Souls game. <laughs> Here I am going, <laughs> I'm gonna play a Souls game. <laughs> Silly Sage <laughs> playing a Souls game. I don't think I'm taking any damage. I don't need to turn that down. There we go. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna be fair. I'll turn it back down. Yeah, I'm not taking any damage. I need to turn it down. <laughs> We're not gonna cheat. I just need to <laughs> just get good. <laughs> Sage just needs to get good. Get good, damn it. Get good. Okay, we're gonna turn that back down because that's not. <laughs> yeah. We're not here to escape by. I'm glad that they have a slider for difficulty. Sometimes you just have to get your ass handed to you, right? At least we know that it's, it is possible where you can make it to where you don't take any damage, but you know, where's the difficulty in that? I just don't want it to be too difficult. I want to play the story because the story looks so cool. That's what I care about. I care about story. I don't care about difficulty. <laughs> as I say that as I can't. Get on the damn <laughs> We're just gonna walk. Here we go. <laughs> Wait, I didn't upgrade. Fuck. There's gonna be another one. It's gonna come up here. See, I'm just fucking this up, aren't I? I'm just fucking it up. <laughs> Silly sage. I got a new weapon. I got a musket. 
weapon be? I got a frost musket. Ooh. You're learning. Yes. <laughs> I'm learning. This is my practice, because... Ooh. Ah, look at that hat. Look at how fashionable we are. I'm learning. That is true. I am learning. I'm not a Dark Souls player. Powered by unlimited energy, she can use it to repair damage. <laughs> that one probably could have used that. Oh, it puts the whole thing in there. Okay. We got explosive grenades. Okay. So now we got items. Yes. That is true, Amara. You can also see what buffs and things the hat gives you. Oh, really? Let's see. Okay, so the it gives us some... Okay. Cool. Well, thank you, Amara. I really want to like this game. I really do. I mean, separate from the difficulty, like, it's going to be a difficult game. And I'm not going to judge the game based on its difficulty. Um, separate from the difficulty, I'm, I really like the, like, same thing with Lies of P. I love the design of it. I love the concept and everything. It's just the difficulty is what gets me. But I'm not going to hold that against the game because that's the way it was built. But I appreciate the game concept and the, like, the design of it. The creativity that went into designing it. Just because I'm not good at Souls games, I'm not going to hold it against it. I've seen a few people play this and I have it, but haven't played it yet. I want to see you play it more and see how you go with it. Ah, oh, thank you for the 300 biddies, Amara. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I gave you a shout out earlier, but I'm gonna give you a shout out. Shout out for Amara. Amara Red Fox, the incredible Amara. I appreciate her so much. And it's always fun to have her in stream to chat. Um, she's very knowledgeable of the games, as you can see. I appreciate her knowledge and feedback. And look forward to seeing her play more and more games. It was fun watching her play the park because that was a crazy jump scare that she had. There's a clip on her channel. <laughs> oh, you spit fire. Um, oh, you got like a handy dandy flamethrower pack. A vintage flamethrower pack one here. Um, but no, like, sh she plays a lot of different games, a lot of horror games. I'm really anxious to see what other scary games that she has in store to play. I'd like to see her play Poppy Playtime eventually. Waiting for Capture Card to come in before I can do anything more than a simple game. Yeah! That's exciting. She's getting a Capture Card, she's getting a portable monitor. Like, she's working on it. Good stuff coming. Yay, now I can heal myself to where I'm not dying all the time. Because <laughs> I'm learning how this game works. <laughs> you have all three chapters? Heck yeah! Play all three! I definitely want to see it. I'm already going to be streaming later today because if you're going to do an early stream, I'm so there. Because I don't think I'm going to go back to sleep. I'm gonna make myself stay awake because I want to enjoy my full day off. I'm gonna have to stay awake for maintenance to come and inspect. Unfortunately, I need to update my computer before I can stream any of my PC games. Okay. I'm looking forward to seeing what selection or what your life. Wait, what's back there? Oh, you ransacked a wagon. And that looks like a pretty epic boss fight over there. I'm curious to see what you have in your Steam library. And we are going to go back to um, Machine for Pigs. 
up Amnesia. We're definitely going to go back to that to finish that up and work on Amnesia Bunker. So we have that. I was playing that the other night. But I like to swap between games. Just so I can keep exploring things and also to kind of keep things interesting for everybody. But I also want to give a special shout out to Lathaniel Gamers for being so kind as to gifting the Amnesia collection. Because of him, he allowed, he was able to give me the opportunity to play Layers of Fear Remake and also the Amnesia collection that I'm working through. I've played Dark Descent, Rebirth, and working on Machina for, for Pigs. So a huge shout out to Lathaniel, who also recently made a YouTube partner recently and a huge congratulations for him and I'm so excited for him because he's worked really hard for over 14 years. And I happen to also have the mug here so I'm going to keep shouting him out because he's an incredible person and I appreciate the heck out of him. Look at that awesome mug. Yeah. I have a drink out of it while I'm at work and also when I stream too so huge shout out for Leif. He's incredible. And of course, Amara, I'm gonna get around to Little Nightmares. Whoa. Oh my god. Ow. I got... I got toasted. I got toasted. But also, yeah, I wanna make sure I give him a shout out, cause I appreciate him. And also, I appreciate Amara. I'm gonna get around to Little Nightmares 2. I gotta get through Little Nightmares 1. But Amara gifted um, Little Nightmares 2, and I'm excited to play that. And it was really cool playing in the park, thanks to her as well. So, shout out to both of those incredible people. Nemesis Claws. Finding one's way, you just acquired a compass. Yay! I have a compass now? Okay. What is this? Ooh. Nemesis Claws. See, I like that. That's really cool. The musket. Nemesis Claws. Those look really cool. So, maybe we can get a better fan. No more house! Makes me think of Resident Evil. Freaking Nemesis. Okay, um... Do we... Nope, we can't jump that way. Maybe we can jump up... Nope. Nope. I'm wondering if there's more to this tower. There's definitely more to this tower. <laughs> we obviously can't climb up this rope because it's literally going right through me. Um, okay. Nope. We can't climb that. Nope. I think it's just part of its design. I don't think we're meant to go up that way. Oof. Okay. The riverbank is just beyond this wood. There we go. Upgrade. Vestal. I've seen things on your wish list that I would love to see play. Oh, you see things in your my wish list? Ooh. Hey, Shadow, how's it going? <laughs> You're just like... <laughs> oh, she's plotting. I keep adding things to wish list. Working on things. A little bit of time figure. Cost to improve. Figure... Agility. Engineering. Elemental alchemy. That gives me two impact. How are you doing, Shadow? That gives me... Oh, I need some... Yeah. I want to add durability. 
Yep. Make myself more healthy. I always like to upgrade health first in any game that I do. Ooh. He doesn't look so good. <laughs> Usual just being college feelings. College! Oh crap, I always forget about you with a flamethrower. feelings. You have to get up early for classes ready. I keep calling you- I'm gonna adjust to calling you Shadow, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, you going to college classes today? Ah! I'm curious what you see on my wish list that you want me to play, Amara. Because I'm working on acquiring things a little bit at a time. I'm curious what you want me to play. <laughs> I'm a little bit terrified. What you want me to play. <laughs> Cause I'm like, oh crap, I'm gonna have to do it. Ugh! Amara wants me to play scary games. <laughs> I mean, Fallout scared the crap on me. Poppy Playtime scared the shit out of me, that jump scare. I had to adjust to people calling me it. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Hey, Dan Bob, how's it going? We're adjusting to some Dark Souls here, which I'm not used to playing at all. Ooh, Saber. That, uh, I keep going to the pause menu, I don't know why. Jacket. Oh. There we go. Ooh, that looks really cool. I mean, I still like that, but... The hat gives me more armor. But it upsets my balance and my flame resistance. Eh, but it gives me 34 armor. Ooh, screw it. Screw it. Souls rising. <laughs> Souls rising. Yep, basically. <laughs> I have not played Dark Souls, as you can tell, because at first I sucked. <laughs> and I actually did have to adjust the difficulty, because I'm not a Souls player. Ow, I just got impaled. I'm not a Souls type of person. I like my stories. <laughs> We're not here for credible difficulty <laughs> and torture. Ow. Did I forget that I have health? Okay. Nope. What? What? I need to check something here in a sec. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ouch. Ouch. Anyway, back to class. Okie dokie, Shadow. You have a good day at school. At class. Hope your class. If you enjoy it, I hope you enjoy it. If you want it to be over, I hope it goes over as quickly as possible. Because I remember those days. You had classes you enjoy and classes that were like meh. So I hope you have a great day. And enjoy the class. No shame in that you want to enjoy the game. Exactly. I want to play this game because I love how creative and exciting. Oh god, Amara, what did you do? I want to check. I want to check something real quick. Um, but no, I, Dan Bob, I really like the concept of this game. It looks really cool. I love period stuff. I love medieval 
time period, renaissance. I love things like that. Like I, that's why I enjoyed the Assassin's Creed games so much. Like the ones that took place um, in Italy, you know, with Ezio. Like oh, I was all about those games because of the time period. Um, and that's what drew me to this one. And then when I saw that she's like a marionette robot, I was like, the design, the art, and everything went into it just has me hooked. So I want to be able to enjoy the game and not let the difficulty get to me. So that's why. That's why I'm adjusting the difficulty so I can still enjoy it. And Amara did something, and I want to check to see what she did. She was looking at my wish list. What did you do, Amara? Oh my god. <laughs> what did you do, Amara? Because if, if Amara does this, I'm going to have to play this game. <laughs> and I'm scared <laughs> what she's done. Oh god, Amara. What are you going to have me play? What are you going to have me play? Oh my god. <laughs> no. No. Amara just gifted Five Nights at Freddy 1 and Five Nights at Freddy's 2. So it looks like I'm going to be going into some FNAF. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. We will be streaming Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and 2. <laughs> and she put a note here that says just a security job, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. We are doing it. We are going to be playing FNAF. Alright. Thank you, Amara. I want to give a second shout out to Amara Red Fox that is challenging me into playing Five Nights at Freddy's. And if you guys don't know, I previously played Five Nights at Freddy's um, back in 2014. I think it was 2014 I played it. And I was absolutely fucking terrified. I have the video up on my YouTube channel, and I was pretty freaking terrified. So, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yep, 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 yep. So she, <laughs> I mean, it's about time that I face my fear, right? So Mara's gonna give me the opportunity to revisit this. Here, I'll put the link there where I played this game, <laughs> the FNAF. Yep. Yep. Well, I mean, I didn't... I played it, like, back in 2014 when um, my f one of my friends had it, and we were doing a video. One of my friends at the time, we were doing... They challenged me and one other person to play FNAF. They had a copy of it. So he brought the copy over on his computer and had us sit down and play it. And it's terrifying. So yeah, Mara, <laughs> this will be the first time in years that I'm revisiting this game because it jump scared the the crap out of me. It's free on Simulator. <laughs> it's oh, it's free on. I'll have to check that out. I'm gonna put that link here. Yep, here we go. So this is. This is the link to the playlist, if you guys want to see the last time I played it. Here you go. That is the last time I played Five Nights at Freddy's in 2014. Because somebody had a copy of it and we sat at their computer and played it. As part of like a thing for our group. Around that time, so I was playing with another person. Yep, because they dared us to. And I was like, take it back, take it back. <laughs> it's like, here, take your computer back. I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> I've gotten better. Yeah, I've, I've gotten better at horror games since then. 
And you know, if I can beat Resident Evil 7 Biohazard on my third attempt of trying to get through it, I feel like I can brave through this FNAF. <sighs> yeah. I mean, Poppy Playtime was pretty scary. Wait, we went this way. Yeah. Yeah, I've watched uh, that Nick Cage film, that Willy's Wonderland. That one was really cool. I enjoyed that. But yeah, thank you, Amara. <laughs> thank you for giving me the opportunity to challenge my fear. That's what I want to do this year, is I'm going to end up playing Outlast again for that reason. He didn't say a word in the whole film, acting. <laughs> Yes, he didn't. And he was good. Nick Cage is good in things too. Somebody made a, like a um, a pie chart of him. Or not even a pie chart. It was one of those, I can't remember the name of that kind of chart. But they made a chart of like him being a good actor and a bad actor. <laughs> okay, wait. We need to go. A Venn diagram. Yes, that's the word. That is it. Okay, I think we go up this way. Yes, Amara is going to give me the opportunity to conquer my fear of Five Nights at Freddy's, so that will be awesome. Because I was terrified when I played it the first time. That was me before I played any horror games, and I was a chicken. I was not about any horror games at all. I liked watching them. But I screamed and I was really loud and scared the whole time, so. Um, it was painful. Uh, endurance. Okay, loot. I'm level 9 though. Hey, we need to upgrade some of this stuff. I don't have any engineering points, and we probably should. Yeah. Upgrade some of these. I need to upgrade power though too, but I need to get my other attributes up. Upgrades. Module slots. Here we go. I only have one key though. Weapons. What's that look? Oh, that looks cool. I like that weapon a lot. Cool. Number of doses? Four. Cool. Yes. That is a challenge. So... You're gonna find this. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. But again, I um, don't know if I gave her a shout out, but yes, check out Amara. Um, I appreciate her support, and of course, she's all about challenging those at scary games and also just being incredibly supportive and kind and I appreciate your generosity um, Amara thank you so much for helping me conquer my fear of some scary games so I accept that challenge of FNAF I accept the FNAF challenge um, but yes please check her out um, Yes, let me know um, if you're going to stream today. Um, definitely feel free to mention it in the chat and what you're wanting to play. Because definitely want to check you out and definitely want others to check you out as well. She plays all sorts of games and I can't wait to see what she's got in her Steam library because pretty soon I'm going to start challenging her. <laughs> it's going to come back around tomorrow. I'm going to challenge you. I have learned that I have made some people fear the Simu. <laughs> now I'm going to start fearing it. Whenever I see that in the chat, I'm going to be like, uh oh. I haven't really decided yet. I want to. But I don't know what to play. Okay. I'm curious to see what you're going to play. Either way, it's going to be a great stream because she's so much fun to watch and it's fun watching her get scared. I really. I'm sorry. I really enjoyed that jump scare in the park. <laughs> that was intense.
<laughs> I'm just like, look at my awesome skill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting used. It's kind of the same gameplay style as uh, Lies of P. Ow. <laughs> I'm showing you off my, my fan skills. Look at my fan skills. <laughs> what about those dark skills? I'm gonna eat my words in a second. <laughs> Knew it. It's alright. It's alright. I need a lock. I lost my lock on with you though. Locking on is challenging. It changes the lock. Ow. It changes the lock on when another enemy is nearby. Quit locking on to something else. <laughs> Stop locking on to other things that I don't want to lock on to. I must have played games before. I'm just being goofy. <laughs> you know, I have played games before. No, I'm kidding. I have. <laughs> it may not look like it, but I'm an experienced gamer. <laughs> Except when it comes to Dark Souls, then I get my ass handed to me. Um, I did get the Killer and Survivor for DVD. The new killer. That one looked really cool. Is that the one with the face kind of like all distorted and everything? Is it that one? Because I saw it briefly when I was pulling up my PlayStation catalog. Yeah, the unknown. Ooh, that looks really cool. If you play DBD, I want to see what it looks like because it looks pretty cool. I saw it when I was trying to get this downloaded. It's called the Unknown. I wonder what abilities it has. That's gonna be really creepy as a survivor to see coming after you. <laughs> Ow, you knocked me on my feet. You knocked me on my ass. Oh, you. capsule. So I'm curious we knock these down. Oh, cool. So we can actually hit that with our fan. Okay. Well that's good to know. The hardest game I've seen recently was Peppa <laughs> Peppa Pig. I'm just picturing Peppa Pig as like an extreme Dark Souls game and then like there's like this big ass pig as like a boss fight. Like the image is going through my head right now where it's like pretty <laughs> like just a big pig going Whoa. like a one hit kill. Like damn. Damn Peppa. A lot of people hate Peppa Pig. Is it because she's annoying? I don't understand the hate on Peppa Pig. Okay, we can climb up this wall now. I'm just killing everything in sight so I can get these, um, so I can collect it. I'm gonna just call it their life force. I know it's called, like, um, alchemy, but I'm like, it's their life force. <laughs> that sounds really dark. Oh, we're in the- we finally reach our second cutscene. That was a lot of work. Peppa keeps asking about going to some castle, and it's always tomorrow, but it never happens. This boat will take me to Paris. <laughs> it's always tomorrow. It's expert level. Oh, here we go. Here's the boss fight. It's an unstable lightning ram. Whoa! I'll smack you in the booty. <laughs> smack you again in the booty. 
You don't want to fight me. This kind of reminds me of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> that does not remind me of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> He totally home run slugged my ass just now. Damn. Oh. <laughs> Miss some. This is like brutal. Okay, we got you down to half a health. I am picturing every time he hits me in the face, I'm picturing like slow motion and like spit <laughs> flying around. Oh my god, I don't want to get stuck. All right, woohoo! This is oh, how the fuck did I evade that attack? <laughs> some hits in. I'm fast as fuck. <laughs> Skill issue. <laughs> you have no idea. Skill issue. <laughs> that is true. It is true. Thymesia, but I don't know if I want to play her or wait. Thymesia. What is that one? Thymesia. Ooh, that looks cool. It's an action role playing game. That looks freaking cool. It's got a 9 out of 10. Or wait on that one till I have the capture card. It's up to you, Amara. That looks really cool. I'm excited to see you play that one because that might be one that I might play later in the future. This boat will take me to Paris. It's one of those where the concept looks really, really cool. So I'd like to see you play it. Because I might want to play it. And I'd love to see um, what it looks like. So if you want to play it, I'm totally there. If you want to play a horror game, I wouldn't. Whatever you want to play. Yep. You need a tool to break this. I can't use my fans. You have Unravel 2. Mm. Whatever you feel like. Whatever you're in the mood for. That means it looks cool because of, um, um, because it, I saw the raven and I like the Dottore mask. Looks really cool. It, ha it looks like a really cool concept, so, and then of course Unravel is really chill and cool too. So I guess it's whatever you're in the mood for. I like the lightning on this. Feels like a spring day. <laughs> nice spring day. <laughs> I always thought the Dottori mask was really cool. It's a nice spring day. It's cracking me up about Peppa Pig. Some castle and always tomorrow but never happens. That sounds like a horror story. Just Peppa Pig on a loop. On a constant loop. It never ends. I think I'll save that one for now, but realize I don't have you on my- <gasps> We gotta add each other on PlayStation, Amara. Definitely. And if you ever want to play a game sometime, we definitely can.
My name is not the same at all. Okay. Because I was about to search for that. I would have been like, wait. Where's Amara? My name's the same. It, it's the same on Xbox and the same on PlayStation. Give me the Vestal. Shake your hand. <gasps> Yay! I'm gonna accept the request. Upgrades. We are gonna upgrade. Let's see. I got enough points. I have two modular keys. I don't have enough ingots to upgrade any of my weapons. Nope. Don't have enough for that. So it looks like we're doing attributes. Um, that's 1320 and that is 1320. I mean, we need to do alchemy. Yeah, and then we're gonna upgrade power. I'm trying to balance out my character. Get a boutique. So you get to change your appearance. I will only be able to locate Monsieur de Vaucanson's workshop from elevated position. That'll be you. Yay! Okay. Cool. Okay. I have accepted. Cool. Looking forward to that. Awesome. That profile name is about 20 years old. I refuse to change it. <laughs> I don't blame you. I had another one for my Xbox 360, like when I did Xbox Live, and that it was called like something Smash on it. I was like, what the hell was I thinking? But I've always had um, Sage as my. I think I started my Sage name back in middle school. It was when I first started playing Guild Wars. I created the name Sage. Like Sage Sky even. So that carried over from like, oh my god, 2000? That was like when I was 13. 10 to 13 years old, so like 2020, 2003. So that's when I created Sage Skyhaven and I was like, I'm keeping it. It was when I started Guild Wars. Oh, I carry that over from 360. <laughs> yeah, I started Sage Skyhaven on our old Dell computer. <laughs> A long time ago, my very first PC. That I had to share with my brother. That's where Sage Skyhaven was born. And then, oh my god. Yeah, and then for like a little bit I had this weird like something smash name that I had to look at how I spelled it because I used one of those where it was like uh, six spaces for the same letter or whatever. I could never remember my username. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> it was something stupid because I was like, that's why I'll never create a name with multiple multiples of the same letter because then I won't remember how many I've put in there and have to look it up and count it each time. <laughs> the name I use here and pretty much everywhere else was a name I used for a short story. Oh yeah? So you wrote a short story? What is this? Oh god. I just picked up a water flask, I swear. Ouch. All I did was I picked up some water. Damn. Damn. All I wanted was some water. Best be your life force though. I'll take that life force. Life force. I think I can climb. Nope. There's a lot of dead bodies next to that water. Don't think I should be drinking it. It's blocked. Oh my god, we got robot dogs. Oh, we got robot dogs. Oh. 
Robot dogs. For that, robot kitty cats. I can't hear you. They look like robot kitty cats. Yeah, they're definitely robot kitty cats. Large robot kitty cats. No kitty, no. It's like a robot. It's like a robot tiger. Robot panther. But I'm gonna call it a robo kitty. Are there more robo kitties? I'm taking my force. Which happens to be an explosive grenade. I will take it. Is that a little, that's a little dog house for the little robot dogs. Uh, Mara, they gave us Sailor, the English dub, and Red Fox. Ooh. I always thought your name was really cool. So you got inspiration from the Red English dub sealer and red fox last name and fairy tale. Then I kept a more because of the meaning. That's cool. So they originated from anime. Oh god. Quit Ow! Quit swinging your balls. Quit swinging those balls around. Stop swinging your balls around. Swing in your balls. Ow! Keep your balls to yourself, sir. I know, right? Like, I don't want any part of those balls. Keep the balls to yourself. Keep the. <laughs> I can just keep going with that, and I feel like it's inappropriate, but I don't care. <laughs> Big balls, anyone? These are large metal balls, and they need to stop. Ow. Quit smacking with your balls. <laughs> I don't need those balls in my face. Stop. I don't want them. Get them away. <laughs> Get them away. <laughs> they hurt. Stop. I see these big balls, anyone? <laughs> Whoa. Damn. Hey, I found- God. You know- Okay, you're not- You have a sword. I was gonna say, don't be bringing those balls over here. I don't want any part of those balls. Keep the to yourself. It hurts my balls more than it hurts <laughs> These damn balls. We're just, you know, walking over people's graves. No problem about that. We're just, you know, probably desecrating people's grave sites, but, you know. French Revolution. Y'all. <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> Here come those balls again, I swear to God. We got balls and we got kitty cats. <laughs> What the hell is happening in this game? Oh, they ran away from me. I don't know what's happening in this game. <laughs> My god, he's He's so proud of himself. Alright, bad kitty. Bad kitties. Bad kitties. No kitties, no, no kitty, no. Bad kitty, bad robo kitty. Oh, it took them both down. Ooh, it took down the kitty cats. My hair is getting in my face. That may or may not be a good clip because my phone hates me. Okay. <laughs> That'll be a fun clip. I did see it says, keep balls to yourself. Look at how you carry those. I need a range attack. You got a lot of health. No. Please. I don't want any more of your balls. Stop. We've talked about- Ow. We've talked about this. 
No. The bombs are gonna give me a concussion stop. <laughs> I'm concussed. <laughs> Ow, shit. I'm gonna file a report. <laughs> For this harassment happening. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> I've got hair sticking to my face. I'm trying to move it. Stop. Stop slamming the balls. So, Rebo, where is the consent? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta fix my bangs. Long hair problems. When you have long hair and there's like one strand that just like stays close to your face, you're like, stop. <sighs> I'll have to look at that clip. I feel like I just went through like an HR seminar. Amara, thank you for gifting a sub to Dan Bob. Hope you enjoy that sub, Dan Bob. That's great having you here. As we all go through a HR, you know, meeting on appropriate topics. Oh my gosh, me? <laughs> I like that, the finger gun kitty cat. That's an awesome emote. Thank you for being here, and thank you, Amara. I'm gonna say it again. Check her out, guys. She's getting a PC set up with a monitor capture card here soon where she's going to be able to play PC games from Steam. She's got a lot of cool stuff lined up and she's going to be streaming today. She doesn't know what she's going to play yet, but it's going to be great no matter what she picks because good vibes over there. Very chill stream and it's fun watching her get jump scared. It's highly entertaining, so I highly re recommend her as a streamer and also she's a pretty damn good person. And just chill to always have chatting and streaming. Very knowledgeable and helpful in games as well. A skilled gamer. Check her out. Highly recommend it. Oh my god. Ah. Ooh. Kick your butt. Kick your butt. You're very welcome, Amara. I mean it like amazing stuff oh trip kick I'm not even gonna try to say that at five in the morning but the blah 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 and then in the mini 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 petrification there we go I said it on the second attempt okay my brain was like what we don't do large words at 5.56 a.m. <laughs> what are you thinking? Oh, here come the balls again. Here come the balls. No, 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 no. Here come. No. Here come the balls. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. No. No, stop. 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 Oh my god. I'm gonna summarize the stream of getting beat up by balls. Stop. Okay, you all need to. The ball slams are getting old. Okay. So you pull those in. You. I need a ranged weapon. Ah, uh, you attack. There we go. I thought I got you. Fuck, I thought I got you. Alright, nope, you're not gonna. Nope, you're not gonna be the one that does me in. Okay. It's regenerating my health. Okay, good. Uh. 
We are having a bonfire. Those attacks are hard to get. I really need a range weapon. I, and I do have that musket. I gotta figure out how to use my secondary weapon. Ouch. Because some of these are not... figure out how to equip. Okay, how do I give our musket? We have a fire chain. Just 60 damage. Okay. The thing is, how do we use our secondary weapon? Change weapon. It is the up. There we go. I'm curious how this is going to be a strong weapon. Ah! There we go. I think I'm going to start liking the other weapons better than the fan. The fan's cool, but the fan is kind of clunky. And I like ranged weapons. For that reason, because we can't get up close to ball dude, because he'll be throwing balls in our face. Um, they got quite a bonfire going on here. Calling all rabbits as we know damage these calling calls in the countryside, especially for tree nursery. Hares is for purchase that they do damage to grain, including pigeons, and destroy and eat more of the capital's grain. Article nine would demand the complete abolition. Very small number pigeons if we remain locked up. They lock up. They're locking up animals. It's interesting. Cool. It's like I got a chain yo-yo. I got the flaming yo-yo. That's what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it a flaming yo-yo. Okay. So let's, uh, okay. I can climb. Here we go. Look at that, we're getting some new outfits. I'm styling, look at my fashion. I really like that hat though. But we'll wear this one because it helps our armor. Oh, it's apples. I was like, is that the stuff healing me? I'm leaking. Yeah, Mara, I'm gonna be watching out for notifications because I I missed the last stream because I lay down and ended up sleeping and I woke up and, I, and you had just ended when I was like, I'm gonna check to see if she's alive. I was like, no! But this time I'll be awake. try to take it easy today too and not do too much. I'm supposed to be healing from a biopsy. They're like, we can't exactly put a band-aid on you so you're gonna have to just heal. And I was like, alright. So I gotta be easy and not lift anything. Or do anything. I need to rest. I think that's probably why I slept for six hours too. But I'm awake. Uh. 
<laughs> totally. I'm having flashbacks to when I played Uncharted and I kept getting, getting nailed by a rocket launcher. I'm having flashbacks to that. Oh, uh, nope. Nope. We're gonna be dodging rocket launcher attacks. This is... I've tried to read that letter. It's from the king of the people of France. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great sound effect that goes along with it. I got nailed by the rug. There's a lot of kitties. Kitties, kitties, kitties. There we go. Am I supposed to be graceful? Because I'm a dance. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, I ran into that one. <laughs> this is a flashback. Alright, this is a flash. We're gonna knock you down. No! <laughs> Jesus. Right. Put that down. Put that down. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Put down the rocket launcher. Put it down. We're having a close battle, man. We gotta stop. Ow. that down. We have unauthorized use of rocket launcher habit in here and that's gotta stop. There's a dead body, I guess, escape. He's blocking my way out. What? Oh. You. You. I got flame things too. Look at my rage. Ah! <laughs> that was. You have to lock on. I think that's the only way you're gonna attack something is you have to lock on to them. We have that as a weapon. I'm curious to see what the musket does. I'm gonna try the musket. Uh, musket. No. That looks cool, but... I don't know. We can see how everything does in battle. I want to try all the weapons. The musket may not be so... I mean... It helps if you lock on though. Oh, there's like a delay. Nah. Can they, can they attack you when you're in the pause screen? They can. Shit. Okay. So you can't pause... for any reason. All right, well. All right, well at least we have a melee weapon. We can always switch to fan if we need to. Okay, so now we know we can't pause in the middle of a fight. Um, what is this? I like this. Let's see how this does. Okay, I'm gonna have to hop out for a bit. Okie dokie! Drive safe, Amara. Thank you for being here. Look forward to you streaming later. Everybody follow Amara so you get those notifications because she's gonna be streaming. Check her out. Ex excited to see what she's gonna play. Definitely check out her stream and drive safe on your way home. Oh, we got this asshole. Haha. I have swords. This is not gonna work. We need. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm gonna get smacked with some balls. Here we go. I need the, the pistol.
mask it, mask it, mask it. There we go. Probably do this one too, we don't have to do the large one. I've got no capsules. open, just gotta unlock it. Upgrade Vestal. Ooh, we can upgrade our weapon. Ooh. I really want to upgrade the musket because we need a, yeah, we need a ranged weapon. Probably gonna stick with the musket for range. Easier so we don't have to get all up close and personal. Watch it, dude. No. I got a gun too, buddy. Yeah, how you feel about knocking your ass down, huh? Ow. Here we go. No, 
I'm getting better at this. We're seeing improvement. Oh my god, I drink! Want some water? Wait, what's this? the one I couldn't go through. the map too. Alright, we just gather this village though. Gather this village. So we need to go. Damn. Alright, that was personal. So we can go this way now. I hear you behind me. I hear you behind me. some way to unlock it. now that I'm leveling up. Okay, so the path we need to go to is toward the left, so we need to keep toward the left here. Ah, 
don't have any. The downside of having this weapon, I have to have alchemy. The way a lot of me, okay. open the door and give you a drink, but I can't. That's the dead end. Go that way. Whoop. Nope. We're gonna run right through everything. Alright. Trying to figure out the place we can mark it on the map. Map of Paris, yep. Main quest. Where is this workshop?
enjoying a drink. Let's see, where is... I found this guy's workshop. So let's jump over the walls. over those walls. I just gotta figure out where the hell I'm going. Because I don't think you can mac mark the map. Oh my god, bronzing it. Um... with that same alert. <laughs> Good morning, Genki. We can change the primary weapon. Okay, cool. chain Easier. Also, search the game. Tis night for me. The game. What game? What? Tis night for me. 8:26 to be exact. Kidoki gengi. Good night. What do you mean, the game? I'm confused. to not think about the game itself. If someone thinks about the game, like, someone loses, they must tell someone else that they lost the game. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, did I one hit KO that dude? That was awesome. I was like, I thought there's something wrong with the game. I'm like, what? I 
always fall for that. Ouch. go to the next area, but where? It's a mind game. I'm not familiar with it. <laughs> I would lose, because I'd forget. I'd be like, what? Oh, we have rocket launchers now, don't we? Alright. While I'm here, I'm just going to collect points so I can upgrade to be stronger than I am. No, not you. Gotta find a way to his workshop. And the game doesn't like to show you where you need to go. I guess we just look for that building. I can get out of this village though. Can't wait any longer. They are fighting at the invalids. No more than 60 yards from where I stand now. Let's stand by and watch my countrymen die. My pistols are loaded. Make sure the bridge will be built long enough for me to reach them. I hope you will be able to find them soon and join the fight alongside us. My brother Laurent. Laurent. the makeshift bridge. There we go. Go through here. Ah, workshop here. Someone we go. hid upstairs. I just need to find a way in from the outside. Oh, 
look at breaches. I got raided by MX Voltage. Hey. Welcome, Voltage. How's it going? What were you playing? Welcome, Raiders. Thank you, MX Voltage, for the raid and for bringing a community of 10 people here. We're having fun playing some Steel Rising. So, what were you playing? How's it going? Give you a shout out to MX Voltage. Shout out. Thank you for the raid. Check him out. I appreciate you for the raid and thank you for thinking of me. I feel very honored to be the recipient of your raid. I'm playing some Overwatch 2. They just released a Cowboy Bebop collab. Ooh. That's awesome. So do you like it? Is it cool? I'm curious to see what that looks like. But thank you for bringing your community here. Did you get some... A lot of wins from... Oh, did you get a lot of wins from Overwatch? How was the game? Hopefully you got some wins. That's awesome. And we're just chilling out here with this game. We got Paige shoes, that's what we were. Okay, now I got these. We look awesome. Some of the skins are good, but others are mad. We did a lot of winning. Yes, a lot of the wins. Awesome. So yeah, check him out. He does a lot of a lot of different games. Currently doing Overwatch 2. Cowboy Bebop. Skins. And getting some wins over there. Um, what other games have you been playing recently? Um, Voltage. Feel free to say... Um, looks like you play first person shooters and I think at one point, were you playing Diablo at one point as well? I could be mistaken. I'm pretty sure I've watched you play Di Helldivers too. Okay. Play Helldivers. I think I saw you play Diablo 4. Steam pump failures or continuing to walk interrupt. Backloads. We are asking you to deal with the proper repairs. Cool. I'm playing Diablo at one point. Yes, Diablo. A lot of different games. A lot of variety. Um, check him out on his next stream. I look forward to seeing what you're going to stream next. I need to check out Hell Divers too, so if you're streaming that, I'd definitely love to check that out. That is awesome. Is Hell Divers worth the hype that it's getting? Because apparently it's been getting a lot of hype. Okay, we gotta figure out how to get upstairs. Because they block the way. You absolutely love it? Okay. I will have to check it out. Because it's getting tons of hype. Tons and tons of hype. Um, who's your go-to character in Overwatch? Do you have like a main that you go with all the time? getting upstairs. That's a really cool carriage. I absolutely love the design of this carriage. That's awesome. We'll go ahead and unlock this just in case. Yeah, I'll definitely have to check that out. If you have a main, that's cool. I know some people have like the main characters that they go for. You should go to oh, some of the aggressive nature of her healing. Ooh, sweet. That's a great character. I think she's popular too. I think I've seen her. Isn't that um Brigitte? I think is that which character I'm thinking about? Um I haven't played Overwatch in a long time. Ah uh, Brigitte, okay. I have or is it Bridget or Brigitte? Brigitte. 
So is she in the first one or the second one? I have not seen that character in play, so I'm curious to see. I've seen like the the OG. She's the one with the shield and the mace. Oh, okay. I don't think I've seen that character in action before. So I'll be the first one you were seeing was eight. Oh, okay. I need to go back and brush up on some Overwatch. So if I catch you live next time, I'm gonna have to stop by and check out and see what's going on with the Overwatch 2. Because obviously I've been out of Overwatch for a bit. Oh, we can do weapon B. Okay. I need to check it out. Because I'm missing out on some Overwatch characters. They've added... A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of them since I've played. But I will need to check it out. So, next time you're live, I will stop by. Because I want to see some more of this Overwatch. How do I get up there? challenge definitely fun time I got a lyric hopefully sleep soon okie dokie thank you for the lyric and thank you for the raid everybody once again check out Voltage he plays a lot of really really cool games um, from Diablo to Overwatch to Helldivers check him out he's got good vibes over there um, getting a lot of wins of Overwatch so definitely check him out and thank you for thinking of me for the raid and for bringing your community here and I do appreciate that thank you And I will definitely love to check out. I wish we could go that way. <laughs> definitely would love to check out your next Overwatch stream and check out this new character and all the different characters that they have in the new game and see what the hype is about Hellbub is. Absolutely. So you have a good sleep and have a great night. Is it this workshop? Have to be from the outside. At least we can unlock this. Oh, hi. Between both of them. Okay. Whoop. Apparently, I can't get on the roof. <laughs> Apparently, not. Either that or I glitched it.
hair is getting loose again. Upgrade modules now. Oh, I guess not. Okay. Duration of a chemical affliction. Slightly increases health. How's it going? Good morning. Good morning, good morning. This game sounds familiar. It is on a PS. Well, it was on PS Plus before. As a monthly game, and it came out I think in 2022. Yeah, I'm going in the same areas that I'm going. Dang it. Okay. We just gotta get upstairs. It's the navigation's a little challenging trying to navigate this game, figure out where we need to go. I didn't mean to fall off the platform. Damn it. Okay. Going so fast. Okay, so if we go... We gotta get to the upstairs of that. with the explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Allie makes an explosive entrance. Always. Ah, here we go. We gotta get up there. Oh my god, what's kinda loud? <laughs> It is loud. It works really well as a jump scare. <laughs> That's why Allie likes to use it all the time, I'm sure, because it's loud. How do I get up to the second floor? I about went through the wall. Damn. She 
she's too chaotic. <laughs> I mean, I get it. I like some chaos. Sus. Sus. <laughs> you saying Allie is sus? <laughs> it's my dramatic entrance. She's like, boom, Allie's here. And that's Ren's entrance. Just a screaming goat, like, bye! How do I get up there? Alright. How do I get up here? We need a side order of sus with a big mc... <laughs> Sussy and a screaming McFlurry. Yes. But their machine's always broken. if I get up there. <laughs> you like it sometimes. <laughs> Chaos. I'm not gonna be able to climb up there. Nope. I never, it could never hurt nobody. No. Chaos never hurts anybody. Sorry, the McFlurry machine is always down. <laughs> it is. Always. I'm trying to figure out how to get up to the second floor here. And then my hair is not cooperating with me. And they don't really give you a way to lock onto the map. So I'm like, what am I doing? Long hair problems. We are on Master of the Machines is the one we're on. Gotta figure out how to get to the top floor. We're gonna figure this out. That's right. Damn now I want a McFlurry. I gotta order breakfast here soon. I've been getting breakfast. Cause I need to get groceries. Honey, I'm probably gonna order breakfast. I gotta rest up. Here comes the guy with the large balls. So how's the game? Looks like a pirate game. It is a game that takes place, it looks like the French Revolution. And you're like this robot, marionette, robot that is protecting or servant of Marie Antoinette, which I'm really excited about it. Because I love things that take place in a time period. a PS Plus monthly game if you guys have PlayStation Plus. I'm not sure if it's on Game Pass. But it's really cool. Like, it already had me by, like, the design of the characters. Like, how cool is the character? And you get to change out the outfits for armor and everything and attributes. Like, it automatically... That was a person. Yeah, it's a robot. Yeah, she's like a robot marionette. It's really, really cool. Cool designs. So just a, just the design alone makes me want to play it, but it's like a Dark Souls game, so I had to adjust the difficulty because I was dying, like, repeatedly. <laughs> I'm not really good at um, Dark Souls games. Amara, did you make it safe home? It looks like you did. I'm glad you made it safe. 
We used to have PlayStation Plus or Battlefield 1 multiplayer. Yes. So I've had, um... I like PlayStation Plus because of the catalog. They've added a lot of really cool stuff to the catalog. See, that's blocked. Oh my god, how do I get through there? Uh... Amara, thank you for gifting us sub to Ren. It's incredible. Thank you so much for the support. I'm gonna keep shouting her out. Thank you, Amara. Amara should be streaming today, so I'm excited to see what she's gonna play. She plays horror and variety. Very chill. Give her all the love as well. She's got a lot of really cool games lined up, and she's gonna be doing PC games here soon. So give Amara all the love. I'm hoping she's gonna be streaming today, because I'd love to catch that. And apparently we can break that, but I don't know how. Wait, can I break it with my pistol? I can't. I wonder if I can... Oh, it doesn't accept that. Okay. Yes, I got sage emotes. Yay! You got sage emotes! Your PS5 is updating. Oh, man. Don't you love those handy dandy updates? The handy dandy updates. Have you decided what you're gonna play? Because either way, you're gonna play something fun. Either way, it's gonna be a fun time. I just gotta figure out how to earth to get up to that workshop. Kind of, but not 100%. Okay. I'm curious. Well, it was good to step in stream, but I think I'm asleep soon. Gotta do stuff in the morning, get an inspection tomorrow, and new third flat maybe. Well, that's a big day, gangy. I got my inspection today, so good luck on yours. Good luck on yours. We can get through these inspections. Don't you love them? But no, get some good sleep. You got a big day, and thank you for stopping by, and thank you for the, the jump scares <laughs> that you've given. And I appreciate all the good vibes that you always give, Gengi. So thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you have a great night and great sleep. These are my favorites. <laughs> the pathetic cat. <laughs> and then the dino. And then the Alfie emote. Oh, he's having a dream right now. He's dreaming behind me. I think he's dreaming about eating some stuff because he's moving his mouth in his sleep. <laughs> his little nose is twitching. I think he's having some dreams. He's he's dreaming, I think, about a snack. His mouth is moving while he's sleeping. <laughs> oh, you gonna wake him up? Well, it is 7 a.m. Let's see how quickly it takes him to wake up from that. Take me one second, I'm gonna pause the game. <laughs> He's a dreamy little boy. Say, Mom, don't wake me up. Whoop. Trying to see if you guys. Whoop. Wrong way. There you go. He's right behind me. Sleeping on that pillow. He's like, what? He's like, huh? You want a treat, oh buddy? You want a snack? Did you have a good sleep? He's tired. He's going to get up in a second. He's going to work his way up to it. He's like, mom, I was sound asleep and dreaming. Do you want a steak treat? like if you deliver it to me 
Cause I, I gotta have Trito delivery. Was like an alarm. <laughs> He's like, mm. Hey, buddy. Do you want a treat? You want a snack? You want a steak Trito? Hmm? You want a steak Trito? He's like, okay. He's like, okay. Oh, that's a big stretch. That was a big stretch. You want to sit down? <laughs> He's like, I want to lay down. Come on, buddy. Come on, baby. Oh, here you go. You want to stand up? Sleepy stands. There you go. Just sneak up to him and let him nibble while he nap. <laughs> Seems like, <gasps> they're real. The tree is real. You can get a high five tomorrow. Yeah. You can give a high five to everybody. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> He's like sitting on his butt. <laughs> There you go, good boy. He says, thanks guys for the treats. He's a bit of a grandpa woken up. <laughs> He's like, mom, it's early. There you go. He's like, it's okay because I get snacks. There you go, buddy. He's a mix though. Like sometimes he wakes up and he's like bright and bushy-tailed because he will actually try to wake me up by literally like laying next to my face and like whining like he wants me to wake up and I have to tell him that I want to sleep and then there's somewhere he just sleeps in and I wake up and he's like out completely <laughs> he's already back down I guess like he's already back down here I'll get up so you guys can see him. yeah I see he's already laying back down <laughs> he's like nighty night guys <laughs> That's funny. He got his treatos and now he's like, um, you're the one who woke me up by baiting me at the treat. Now you're gonna make me do a trick for it. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> I feel like there would be like an audible <sighs> with all of that. He's back down. He's like, Mom, it's early. He's like, God. <laughs> I swear it's like he it's like waking up a teenager sometimes like I remember those days where like my parents would be like wake up and then I would go back to sleep they're like no wake up oh this whole time there was a fucking lever that says activate oh, it was that fucking easy my god wow wow just wow wow anyway <laughs> hope you enjoyed the tour around France while I try to look for this damn lever. Um, that's video games for you. I'm overthinking it like crazy. But no, like, um, it's like dealing with a teenager because like he'll be in bed and I will tell him to go get up because we got to go outside, you know, take him to go to the bathroom. And he like just looks at me, he doesn't move. And I'll be walking down the stairs like, come on buddy, come on. And he'll literally still be in bed. And then I have to get that mom voice where I'm like, Alfred. And then he gets up and you see the reluctance in his face where he doesn't want to get up. And he's like, <sighs> and then he gets up and then he does the same thing with going down the stairs. I have to be at the bottom of the stairs. I'm like, come on, buddy. And he's like looking at me like, no. And I'm like, come on. <laughs> and then he finally work. goes. The steam pump that powers this device is no longer working. So we gotta fix the steam pump. Okay, let's follow this thingy. Follow the pipe to the steam pump. He is stubborn, yes. He's stubborn when he wants to be. Alright. Steam pump. We gotta fix this. He gets really stubborn. I have to get the mom voice before he'll do something. Ah, there it is. How does I get up there? Nope. Okay, we can jump across, but how do I get up there? Can't grab.
grab onto anything. Oh, um, I'm so fast. Okay. I swear my hair has like a magnet in it because it keeps like sticking in my face and I keep putting it behind my headphones and it just keeps like finding its way to like being on my face and it tickles my face and like stop. Some days I just want to shave all my hair off and then some days I'm like no, I like my long hair. Even though it gets caught in seat belts and in trees and all kinds of stuff. The best part is when you walk under a tree and your hair catches and then you're walking like, ow! That's the best part. Okay, we're in here. So... Can we find a back way? Maybe this was the whole meaning to that circle we went into earlier before we found the damn lever. We were a bit ahead of ourselves, I think. I was making it more difficult on myself. Yep, here we go. I didn't know where I was going, but I was going in the right direction, just didn't know what for. <laughs> here we go. Alright. Steam pump, steam pump. Oh, look, oh, look at you guys. Wow. Yeah, go get me. No. Ouch. Pick up that vial. Tank just licked my glass. <laughs> He's like, I gotta clean the glasses off for you, mom. You know what he Alfred likes to do? Alfred loves to lick my car. Like whenever it rains, he wants to lick my car and lick the water off the car. And I'm like, Alfred. And he's like, I'm giving you a courtesy car wash, mom. Jeez, welcome back, Jet. Yeah, Alfred will lick my car. And I'm like, okay, free car wash. I'm like, Alfred, stop. And I have to like pull him in. I'm like, don't. Was on the phone longer than anticipated. Okie dokie. Don't you love those phone calls? Spontaneous phone calls. We finally figured out where the lever was. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Get the party up in here. Okay. Where? Okay. Nope. Okay. Wait. Make sure we didn't run past it. Nope, it just has us directed to a different area. Factory port. Okay. Guess welcome back. Get okay. rewards done. Nice. There we go, we've opened that gate. Nice! We got that one done. We got the port. That one is blocked. That's blocked. Factories. Okay, 
gotta follow the pipes now. So, yeah, the pipe went through here, through that wall. And I've got that door open now. So, let's see if we can check that pipe. in the water source. saw oil just go everywhere. Uh, oh, thank no, we can't go up ladders. We can jump walls, but we up any ladders. Um, yeah, this looks like something. <laughs> that this would be something that we need to land on. Where did that even come from? Oh, the rocket launcher? Uh, we could just go this way. Yeah, just this enemy. What? We should have enough to upgrade something. I'm just trying to find the steam area. Oh. Oh, oh, that missed me. <laughs> Ow, that one got me. That one breathed. It came from one of these rocket launcher dudes that uh, shot it, and it was just perfectly timed. Like, Wreck came out from under behind the wall, and he whacked me across the face with that rocket launcher. <laughs> it was the timing. I walked right into that one. Gotta find a way to get to the pipes. This game doesn't really help you out. So that's okay. It's a challenge. Okay. Just trying to get to that spot. Can't go on. Apparently, we can't stay on the rooftops either. Just check and see if there's something in here. This way and around.
Where's that big ass metal pipe? Because it would go through that wall. Yep, through that wall. doorway that way. So we have to go up. That's where we need to go. If only we can get on the other side of this damn wall. <laughs> This is challenging. It's gonna make us find a hidden door. There's a door somewhere to get to the other side. Pretty squeeze by. There's like a, some sort of hidden door on that area. We're just gonna have to find it. go the other way, but over there. Aha. The steam pump. I will have to go around to get to it. Oh yes? You don't say. You don't say character. That orge. Okay, here we go. I kinda wanna see what's on that other area. here before I go too far in one direction. Okay. Get a vial. Yeah, that's something. This is like some sort of boss fight.
Yep. Unstable forger. Oh my health. Flight module. Sweet. Heck yeah. Get the modules. Get those modules. So what we're going to do is go to upgrade. Agility would be that's my resistance. Um Modules. Can, can you fight? Oh, look at the fans. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So you can buy that, that's awesome. Um Increase this physical damage impact by cool. Look at that. Put all these in there. Oh, she's more powerful. Look at those robots. Just 
so weird. So we'll go this way. Open. Bronze is getting cast iron. this gate over here. Yes. There we go. I just took a rocket launcher to the face. Took a rocket launcher to the face and the butt. Damn. Get those explosive grenades, heck yeah. another way down. I was gonna get that bag, but... You know... Okay. Yeah, be more careful. Alright, let's grab that one more time. There we go. Ouch. Things I do for items. <laughs> just take the stairs. Okay, it's gonna lead me to the same place anyway. All that needed to be fixed. Voila. That should work. All I had to do was fix the gear and just move up the lever. <laughs> when we're talking repair, I'm thinking we're repairing something. Larger. So if I just knocked it loose. Backtrack. Cool. Nope, not that way. Or maybe we have to get away. The one thing I have on this game is navigation.
Alright, so we'll go that way, then face this down in the same area. We need to go up there. Maybe we can. That's a roof, and we slide off roofs. Try this again. Hope I took fall damage. That's not let me check up there. Okay. Ouch. Yeah, giant rivets. Okay, we can't climb up there. Okay, how do we find our way back? anything. Okay, up oh, there we go. That's the thing is that some of this navigation I'm like mm. Damn there we go again. I should have used well can I use a block? I don't know if I can block with this. That's a cool move though. No. There's no block but there's special moves. Special. That's good to know. Thank you for the alert, Gamara. Oh, it's the guy with the balls. There we go. Oh my god. There we go. At least we hit it on the way down. He's up in his workshop. I didn't know there was anybody up there. Bosso. Peace. I was given orders to come here. An automat? The talks. Ah, mais je t'en connais. Your Vulcan Souls dancer. I saw you perform in Versailles when you were first presented to the Queen. I have 
have been sent by the Queen. Sa Majesty, is she safe? Yes. She is at the Chateau de saint Cloud. It is guarded by machines. Machines? What has become of the guards? There are no longer any human guards. <sighs> His own troops. He's no better than a rabid dog. I must find Monsieur de Vaucanson. He holds the secret to the tireless automats. Your creator? Well, that makes two of us. And it seems we have both arrived too late. He must have gone scurrying back to his master. I was only able to find this note written in his hand. It's nothing of any use, though. Only one thing's for certain. Wherever he went, he didn't take his horseless carriage. He left the key. There are machines wreaking havoc on the esplanade. So I saw, yes. And a little too closely for my liking. It's a miracle I escaped alive. Just by Les Invalides, I saw one take a volley of Empire, halt for an instant, then carry on as if nothing happened. But no machine, however resilient, is indestructible. These automats must have a weakness. Some vital axle or gear that we can target. I don't suppose you would know, you who share their nature. No. Blast. That is Blast. unfortunate. I scoured the workshop hoping to shed some light on the matter. But to no avail. Uh, if only I had listened to the abbot. But perhaps there's still time. Listen to me. You must find Abbe Grégoire. He knows all about Vaucanson and his machines. Where can I find him? He took it upon himself to carry out a well-intentioned but perilous mission. If he's still alive, he'll be seeking refuge at the Société des Amis des Noirs en Place Saint-Méry, not far from Les Halles. Here, take the key to the carriage. It will no doubt be of use to you. I must attend to a matter of the utmost importance. If my officers are to be believed, the people in arms are calling for the Marquis de Lafayette as their general. And it is my duty to answer their call. Dun, dun, dun. All right, but we got that. Let's see. Um, okay. This is a cool workshop, though. What is this? Do you have... Who made these machines? Only has the cursed knight. Uh, what I fear I may never forget would have been up to the poor to give up his soul to God, and yet he had to be the letter in here. Uh oh, he got interrupted while writing a letter. Um. All right. What is that thing? That contraption. Oh no, we're gonna have to end up fighting that thing eventually, probably. Oh, there's the kitty cats. They are like jaguars. Maybe like jaguar tigers. Sweet. Okay. I don't think I know what we're going to do. Oof. We've been going for three hours and twenty six minutes. Uh, twenty yeah, three hours twenty six minutes. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do real quick is we're going to do this. I am going to do some important shout outs here. Some important shout outs that need to be done because some amazing people. Of course, I want to shout out um, congratulations again to Nathaniel Gamers for making YouTube partner. Please check out his um, channel over on YouTube. It's really awesome. He's uploading things all the time. An incredible, incredible, incredible streamer. Um, he streams here on Twitch, but also an incredible, he's in here all the time, um, an incredible content creator over on YouTube playing horror and movie reviews and all kinds of stuff. Um, he's got some cool stuff. But yeah, he's awesome. Check him out. Appreciate him. He 
we're been, we've been playing Amnesia because of him, and also the Years of Fear because of him. So a huge thank you to Leif. Greatly appreciate you. Of course, a huge shout out to Amara, um, Red Fox for gifting Little Nightmares, and also gifting the park. And we've been able to play the park here on stream, and we're going to be playing Little Nightmares too because of her. And also today, she is going to challenge me to playing Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and 2, so a huge thanks to Amara for being just her massive support, and I'm looking forward to playing Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and 2, so that will be terrifying. Um, we played it in 2014, and it, I was absolutely terrified when I played it, because that was before I played any horror games, and you can see that video over on my YouTube channel as well, and it was terrifying, so feel free to check out my YouTube and you'll see that video on there under the Five Nights at Freddy's playlist because, oh my god, I was I was a basket game <laughs> playing that game the very first time. Oh yeah, the if you see the video on my YouTube channel, I was jumping out of my skin, uh, freaking out over the slightest thing spooked me. So it'll be interesting to go back and revisit it. And it's been how many years? Oh my god, it's been, that was in 2014, yeah, 10 years ago. So, yeah, oh my god, wouldn't that be, that's crazy. So, I will be playing it 10 years from when I first tried to play it. Wow. So, it's been a decade since I tried it. <laughs> so, we will be revisiting it a decade later. That is crazy, the timing. That's nuts, yeah. I tried it in 2014, it's 2024. So we'll see what 10 years difference does and see how I do. <laughs> That's nuts. That's crazy timing. Oh my god. That's crazy timing. So yeah, we're going to be... Gosh, we're going to add that to the list. And of course, Kiwi was in here earlier and gave me a puzzle game. So thank you, Kiwi. Um, I'm going to add that to the list. Feel free to suggest any games at any time. And I would look forward to adding it to the list and checking it out. So Amara's presented a pretty massive challenge. I hope to finish a Amnesia Machine for Pigs that Leith so graciously is letting me try and we'll be finishing Machine for Pigs but we'll also be doing Five Nights at Freddy's and also Little Mightmares 2. <laughs> those are on our list here thanks to those wonderful, wonderful supporters. Um, and again, thank you Amara for the biddies as well. I appreciate it and the gifted subs that she's been gifting in this channel. She's incredible. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I think we will be raiding Amara. She's live right now with some Dead by Daylight because she's been such a massive supporter and I haven't had a chance to really raid her because she works night shift. She works overnight and gets home and streams and I catch her in the morning and usually she's streaming while I'm working during the week. So I don't really get a chance to raid her. So I want to raid Amara because she's incredible and it's so much fun watching her. And you'll see why. Um, I appreciate her so much. We'll go ahead and get the raid going. And I'm planning on streaming tonight. Um, I don't know what I'm going to play. We might pick up Five Nights at Freddy's and go right into it. We'll see. <laughs> we might just go ahead and just say fuck it and do it. Because in order to play Little Nightmares 2, I have to finish Little, Mi Little Nightmares, the first one. And we can go into um, Machine for Pigs as well. So we'll see how the day goes. But I'll be streaming tonight. And we'll see you guys then. I uh, hope you guys can join me for raiding out to Amara Red Fox. An incredible person. Has a cat named Bat Cat and Robin. And has an adorable dog named Tank. Um, she plays horror, variety. She's playing Dead by Daylight right now. And she just got off work. So let's send her some love after a long night shift. And hope she has a great day. You have a great day too, Vet, uh, Jet. And congratulations on making affiliate. And I can't wait to see what you do to your channel. And I appreciate you as well for being here, for hanging out. And Allie and Ren, you guys are incredible. And I appreciate you guys so, 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 so much. And of course, the fantastic Remy. Everyone that was in here, I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are awesome. And thank you, a huge thank you to Voltage for the incredible raid and for bringing his community over here. He's playing Overwatch 2. Please check him out. Thank you so much for raiding me. I appreciate you, and Gangy was here earlier too with the jump scare, <laughs> and Kiwi. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Much love to all of you. Have a wonderful night. Take care of yourself. Self-care is important. I'm going to go get some much needed rest after my um, medical procedure yesterday, so got to rest up 
and take care of myself. So I'll see you guys later today, later tonight, I should say. But much love. Let's send all the love over to Amara. High fives from Alfie, hearts from me. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day or night. Bye. Let's raid. Bye, guys. <laughs>